Welcome along guys to another video We're in the garage again. The H2 is under the knife. We fitted the uh, beautiful stone chip protection on it which is working out brilliant. Still completely intact, still holding up to the elements. Now today there's one other thing which is very irritating and ugly on the bike. I'm not talking about me, <laughs> I'm talking about the standard tail unit. So today we're going to be fitting this, an RNG tail tidy, with some new indicators to follow through. Maybe not follow through. So this is the RNG kit, so you've got a box, or a bag even, with a load of bits in, stickers, Oh, looks like we've got everything we need in here. This looks like it could be a bit complicated. Oh, okay, what we've got to do. Let's have a, what is nice of these instructions, it tells you actually how to take the bike apart as well. So it's not just about fitting it, you know, it tells you how to disassemble your bike. There's quite a lot of instructions. Tools required, set of metric Allen keys. A three, a four, and a five millimeter. Ten mil socket, check. Phillips driver, check. Electrical pliers and crimps. Mm. Small amount of super glue. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Let's strip her down. How you adjust the seat. I think you move this section back, it's got two positions. Got to get those indicators off. Actually, I may use different indicators. I may use some different indicators because they're huge. Do 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 do. Okay, I've gone a little bit off piece now. I don't want to reuse the standard Kawasaki indicators because they're humongous. So what I've done for the time being, I've bought myself some BMW. LED indicators which are much smaller, much neater and cost about, they cost me £10 for a pair, so really cheap. I've made up some wires which came with the RNG kit using the existing wiring which actually has the resistors for the LED indicators in line with this Kawasaki wiring. So I've tested them, put some bullets on, they all seem to flash at the right rate. So let's connect it with some more sexy indicators. So I've run into a snag. They don't actually fit to the actual uh, tail tidy metalwork. They're designed, these have a screw to the offset to the side and the cable comes through the middle. The H2 indicators are just a threaded, you know, they screw on where the threaded wire comes out. So all of the fixings that come with the tail tidy are designed to have a straight through uh, fixing like that and not have a bolt on the side. So I can't use them. And also I've cut the wires too short and that wiring doesn't disappear quite underneath the rear of the bike. So I've completely screwed that up. Performance parts have come to the rescue with some delicious Rizima indicators. Um, these are the action versions, I believe. Um, proper connectors on, ready to go. Let's fit these instead, and they're gonna look a lot better. Shucks So this is what I've done as part of my genius plan. This is the standard indicator wiring. It's quite long, as you can see, there's plenty of wire there. And I've retained the standard, obviously I didn't want to cut into the factory Kawasaki wiring. So I cut into the indicator wiring, joined up, put some bullets on, which are the bullets which came with the tail tidy kit anyway, which then connect directly to the Rizima indicators. So 
I've just got to work out which is left and right, fit the indicators, make all this neatly into the tail, and I think I'm done. There we go, that's it all physically bolted on. I like this little cover it comes with, it covers up all of the wiring underneath. So you can't see, it's just a tiny little bit of wiring you can see here, just through there. But once the number plate's on, you're not even gonna see that. So that is a really nice job, actually. That's a well thought out tail tidy, that is. I have to say, that's one of the best ones I've ever done. All I've got to do now is just tighten the indicators up so they actually uh, don't waggle. So we just get them lined up and just nip them up and then just plug stuff in under the seat and we're almost done, thank the Lord. Thank goodness, all done. The disgusting, humongous tail has been removed and we've gone all shakshi on the back. So massive thanks to RNG for sending me that tail tidy to test out. I'll let you know how that holds up over time. And also massive thank you to Performance Parts for the Rizima indicators, which they sent me. Really appreciated. Links below to everything in the video if you want to kick yourself up with this. Um, but next, we're getting exciting. There's one more big thing left to the bike which I want to change. It's big, it's disgusting, it's heavy. This hat's a clue. The exhaust has got to go. But that is next time. Take a look at this. Oh, oh. Yeah.